everyone, John's here, and today we are in Houston, Texas, heading to Cypress, Texas to Willie's Grill and Ice House. So for today's challenge, it's a very Texas challenge. We're gonna have a Texas-sized burger featuring three half-pound patties with cheese, bacon. We're then going to have a Texas-sized serving, a Texas-sized onion rings, which are absolutely huge and giant. And we're also gonna have a Texas-sized chicken fried steak, which is one of my absolute favorite items to get when I'm in the South when in Texas. So the standard challenge, you have one hour to complete the challenge. Let's just say I might try and double this thing up. Yes, to actually to try to double the challenge and do then two of the burgers, two of the chicken fried steaks, and two orders of the onion rings. It's a lot, a lot of food. This is an undefeated challenge. But anyway, wish me luck. Um, again, we will have 60 minutes to get the meal for free. But that's pretty much it, guys. I love chicken fried steaks. While I'm down in Texas, I definitely want you to take advantage of getting a chicken fried steak. It's a long, long, long time since I've had one. I know they have really good food here. I've heard they have amazing burgers. And so I'm super, super excited to actually to try it out. That's pretty much it. So let's head to the restaurant. Let's go eat some food. I'm super excited. I'll get you some more information as it comes. Um, I believe the challenge is only about $30, $40 actually to attempt it, which is a super, super good deal. Um, and then obviously that times two if we double it. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. So let's go have some fun with food and let's get eating. All right, everyone, so we're here with all the food. So we have two massive, large orders of onion rings. These are absolutely giant trays. Just look at that. And then we have two of their burgers and the two chicken fried steaks. So this is definitely a sizable triple burger. Each patty is half a pound, plus the massive chicken fried steak. It's a very large chicken fried steak. Of course, we've got the country gravy on it as well. Big old burger, bacon cheese, and the chicken fried steak. So, pretty much about it. Looks really good. Um, we're gonna start here just momentarily, but uh, I'm ready. I love this kind of food. It smells really delicious. This is what they're known for. So uh, ultimately, let's tune in, have some fun. Let's eat some food. All right, everyone, so how about we get started? A lot of food, that's for sure. I think it's all, uh, it's definitely all cooled off by now. So, uh, I don't really know where to start. Maybe I'll start with this tray here, work my way back. But uh, big, beautiful looking cheeseburger. Bacon cheeseburger. So, let's get started. Have we said count of five, four, maybe three, two, one? Let's eat. Mmm. That is a very delicious burger, actually. Mm. This, this one deserves a hell right. Check out JoelEats.com, get that merch. Yeah, this burger is actually fantastic. For a long time since I had such a good burger. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Willie's Grill and Ice House in Cypress, Texas, basically Houston, Texas. Here doing their absolutely giant Texas sized challenge. So, as we said, we have big burgers, we have big chicken fried steaks, and we have big onion rings and lots, lots of them. So again, I am doubling the challenge. Traditionally, it is just the one burger, the one chicken fried steak, and the one order of onion rings, which I will say is an absolutely giant order of onion rings. I've never seen onion rings this big, this thick, and or, well, a platter of this many onion rings at once. Super impressed. I think there's chicken fried steak next. And I'll like finish once we get a new record. That's some country fried gravy. So I've known about Willie's for quite a while. They've constantly been rated Texas's number one patio, and that's across all the locations, which are mostly around um, Houston, but then there's also some in San Antonio, there's one in Austin, and they're really kind of growing around the state. Very good steak, very tender. Huge though. Now what I did find across my visit is actually that it is a completely scratch kitchen. Yes, it is a scratch, scratch, scratch kitchen. All the burgers, I will say, were absolutely delicious tasting. You can tell it's a real beef. 
season it beautifully, um, just so like juicy and moist. The chicken fried steak was amazing as well. It was super, super tender. Um, all the onion rings and same as the chicken fried steak, they hand battered them right in front of me. I saw them do that. So again, just really speaking to the quality and like I said, an, an actually amazing experience. Um, like I said, the quality of all this food just absolutely blew my mind and definitely a place that I look forward to coming back, especially for a burger. Man, I love that burger there. That was dang, dang, dang good burger. Um, besides that, uh, we did have the 60 minutes. Onion rings? <laughs> this one they're known for. Giant hand-breaded onion rings. Very good. And one thing I forgot to mention earlier is if we could complete the meal, we we're also going to get a sweet t-shirt. Um, you know, nothing wrong with a sweet t-shirt. Um, pretty much though, I think that's the majority of the information. If you're not familiar with a chicken fried steak, it is literally a beef steak which is battered um, like fried chicken and then deep fried, hence being called a chicken fried steak. Definitely an item I look forward to always getting in the southern United States. Just over four minutes in. Very delicious. Super impressed with the burger. Onion rings, chicken fried steak, amazing. It was topped with their peppercorn gravy, which is like a, some people also call it a sausage gravy. Um, similar, if you're not familiar, almost to like a bechamel in a way. Uh, kind of like, again, a, a flour and fat based delicious sauce. There's some big onion rings. The onion rings were actually super delicious as well. They were very crispy, um, but just like perfect, perfectly done. And like, if you're ever gonna have an onion ring, this is the way to do it. Like I said, using a legit real onion, which they cut in house, they battered right in front of you. And like I said, the fact that these are so big and the trays are so massive, like that's enough onion rings for probably like five, six people on one of those trays, let alone, you know, two of them. Um, and of course, you know, I was having my Mr. Ketchup, my friend Ketchup there along as well. It's a lot of onion rings. If you've never been to Houston, Houston is a very large city, especially because there are so many cities kind of surrounding Houston, which comprise Houston. All right, so I think just under seven minutes. For the first one, very delicious. Very, very delicious. But now let's get into the second one here. Ooh, a lot of food. Love this burger though. Really looking forward to this burger again. All is very good, but these, this is fantastic. The burger definitely stands out. Excuse me. Man, that's a good burger. But even being out of the city here in Cyprus, we still got that real Texas hospitality. The staff were awesome, the food was awesome, and like I said, I will definitely be coming back to a Willie's in the near future, as soon as I get the opportunity, really. Uh, maybe it'll be in the San Antonio location, maybe the Austin location, or Houston location. But at that point, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, quick question for you guys, though. Are you a bacon on your burger person or no bacon? Because these had bacon on these cheeseburgers and it was very, very delicious. So comment down below, bacon or no bacon? And that, let's get to the rest of the video. Woo! That's some extra horsepower. Release that belt. Very delicious and just under 10 minutes in. Woo. All right. Chicken breast steak round two. About 11 and a half minutes.
I tell you, there's no shortage that cut gravy. Literally like a, a half inch freaking layer on it. Also like mashed potatoes or something. Big pile of drinks. I don't think the half bottle or third, three quarters of a bottle of ketchup was part of the challenge, but here we are nonetheless. Excuse me. Woo. Lots of air today. Of course, in order of these onion rings, usually serves like five people. Oh, dude. Last one. Are done. Ooh. So I'm at 21 and a half minutes. Definitely a lot of food. I mean, again, this was doubling the challenge. I definitely would never met anybody doing that. But I will say, I was so impressed. That burger was absolutely fantastic. I definitely recommend trying a burger here. You don't have to have a trip burger. We we'll try a burger here. Very delicious. Chicken fried steak was great as well. Super tender. Definitely one of the things I look for in a chicken fried steak. That was fantastic. The onion rings were really good as well. They're very nice hand breaded 
made to order, under your ring. No complaints about that. And they were massive. They were absolutely huge. With that, everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so now we're gonna get a free school. Um, we're gonna get a sweet t-shirt, maybe two. And uh, the challenge is now undefeated, and it's been defeated twice. So that's pretty sweet. So now I want to get until next Sunday. Happy hungry, happy eating. Um, like I said, definitely check out the store at joeleats.com. Grab yourself some merch. We have all kinds of different cool things there. But a huge thanks over here, Will's. Really love this place. Really cool spot. Until next time, happy hungry, happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Grin in my red gloves because I've cut in my hand. And uh, that's about it. So until next time, have a lovely day. And they insisted I try their peach cobbler, which looks really good. It is a hot skillet. It was sizzling here a moment ago. Um, hot or cold ice cream. That's that nice melty melty, so we'll try that. And apparently they have a really good bread pudding, which they all make here, so let's give it a try. So like I said, super impressed, Scratch Kitchen. It is steaming, I don't know if you can see that. I like dessert. Woo! That is peachy. That is moist. What a beautiful bread pudding. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just look at it. Beautiful. I like it. Oh, cool. You just put it on there. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. You as well. Yeah, this is fantastic. The cake they're using? That ice cream? Woo! Man. It's been a long time since I had a cobbler. Even a longer time since I had a really good cobbler. Red pudding. Very hot. It's super soft, super moist. Got a really nice uh, kind of liqueur flavor on it. Sweet buttery sauce. It's tasty. You definitely need that rub in there. Very delicious. So you definitely recommend stopping by. Super cool place. They say Texas number one patios. I see why. 18 locations across Texas, mostly in the Houston and San Antonio areas. Location to Austin. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Really good food. Stabman, fantastic. Desserts are really good, and uh, that's it. So, that's it. That's it. So, with that. Dynamic cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there, everybody. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So, like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.